All right, this video is going to quickly go through some maintenance issues, uh, troubleshooting issues uh, you may run into. Get into the pump module here, which I always seem to struggle with. All right, working from the tank through the fluid path here, first thing is going to be the filter. Filter shouldn't really need to be cleaned uh, on a very routine basis, maybe once a year if you, if you want to. Um, if it ever does get clogged, the controller will go into alarm since it wouldn't be able to keep up with the delivery. So if you want to wait till that happens, you could do that. Or if you want to go ahead and be more proactive and clean it at any time, uh, you can, I've got one that's not mounted here, but you can uh, loosen this union here and loosen this tubing and remove it pretty easily. And then you'll just, uh, it sits like this. You'll loosen this, the screen, the stainless steel screen would drop out any debris would be knocked out, uh, take it to a um, solvent cleaning uh, sink or use something to get it real clean, put it back in, reassemble, you're back up and running. Try to make sure you don't have any loose debris in there. Uh, 74 micron, it's pretty tight. I'll try to protect everything that's past it here. But that's the filter. You shouldn't have to replace that screen. It should just be recleanable. Uh, next thing through is the pump. We haven't ever had a pump fail yet, so um, probably won't uh, experience that. Um, the next thing over is the meter. If you ever have it uh, say it can't keep up, uh, probably the first thing to do is a calibration procedure and make sure that you've got fluid flowing and that that flowing fluid is giving you a count. If you've got fluid flowing but nothing's counting, First thing to do is look at the meter, may be jammed, very sensitive to any debris. I've got a meter here um, to show you what it looks like to get in there. Uh, the cord should always be down. Um, I'm going to take these four screws loose. I dropped the lid. Okay, the lid was like this. The black surface should be away from the liquid. If you mount it this way, it won't work. Then, also, if you would mount it this way or this way, it won't work. The cord should be down. There's magnetic pickups embedded in there that uh, won't work if they're positioned in any other way. Setting the lid aside, once you get down to this part, if you think it's jammed, you can attempt to rotate the gears. If you can get several rotations out of them very easily, it wasn't jammed. If it wasn't jammed, all of the goods are in this, the uh, pickups for the uh, gears. So if you're not jammed and you're not getting a, a count of additive, you may need a replacement one of these. It's pretty rare, but it happens. If this is jammed, you'll want to pull one of the gears out and there's going to be some debris in there for you to clear off. So just pop one up a little bit. I'd like to see you do one at a time. Just the top one first to get it all clean. If you notice there's a, a surface that's totally flat, then the other surface may or may not have something in it. It needs to be put back together the same way. So when I took this out, this was to the back, so I'm going to put it back in that way. Let's look at the other one. The other one, see, is smooth on both sides, so uh, it doesn't really matter with that one. The one with the uh, Allen set screw in it is the one with the magnet. So now when you put them back together, you have to get them timed right so they will spin around. Try to get several spins on them, make sure you got the timing right. If they won't, if they'll spin partially and then lock, you got to reposition by a tooth. But you can get it. Then it's simply a matter of reassembling. Put your screws back in, and you should be going. So that's the meter. I'll move those pieces out of the way.
Next thing over is the uh, distribution rail. When you do a calibration, I'll just show you quickly. You'll have this calibration hose that we send. It's got a ball valve on one end, quick coupling. This is the place to, to connect to. So you can uh, go to the menu on the controller, start a calibration, pump into a container of a known quantity, and that's what that fitting there is for. So that's the calibration port. The only other maintenance issue regarding this would be these solenoid valves. You've got four solenoid valves. They've got a moving part in them. They've got seals. You may have one, again, get a piece of debris in it or a, valve, or a seal fail. Um, if that were to happen, you can get to what you need to here. You can slide this lock off, remove the um, coil, and fix it. And I've got one that's not mounted here just to show you better. So this is exactly the same valve, although this is a black. They just chose to use a different color. So using a flat, small screwdriver, I would slide this off, remove the coil. Now I can get to the goods here. This is where the piston goes up and down inside here. Just make sure you don't drop any of the pieces. Let me turn this so you can see it better. Screw this out. So this is the only part that's permanently in there that would be a real hard thing to remove, but it's also the part that doesn't wear out, so it's okay. So that would stay in the pump module, and you'd pull this out, and you would look here, it depends on the problem you're having, there might be some debris in here and it's not sealing up, or uh, you might just have this black rubber is totally worn out. They should last several years though but uh, if you have one that needs a new uh, valve part the uh, piston part uh, we can send you a replacement solenoid and you just transfer the good one to the bad one they're pretty cheap so you'd spin your new one on and just reassemble not the end of the world not the easiest working space but uh, tried to make it a pretty small package we tried to do as much prefabrication as possible for you. And that's, uh, that's I believe, all the maintenance issues or troubleshooting things I would suggest. So um, I guess that's the end of this video. Thank you.